One of the world's oldest AIDS activism groups is calling for an immediate and permanent ceasefire in Gaza, and the connection between AIDS activism and Palestinian liberation may not be as surprising as you think. Last week, the New York chapter of the AIDS activism group ACT UP released a statement calling for an immediate and permanent ceasefire in Gaza and endorsing the BDS or Boycott, Divestment and Sanctions movement. They also encouraged other ACT UP chapters and other LGBTQ organizations to call for a ceasefire and for Palestinian liberation. This wasn't an isolated or random position to take. AIDS activism, anti-war activism, and anti-apartheid activism have actually been linked for decades. This latest statement from ACT UP New York came on an important day in history. January 23rd was the 33rd anniversary of the Day of Desperation, when ACT UP activists disrupted a CBS newscast chanting the slogan, Fight AIDS, Not Arabs. The CBS Evening News, Dan Rather reporting. Good evening. Fight AIDS, not Arabs. We're going to take a break for a commercial just now. Fight AIDS, not Arabs. We'll take a commercial. Thank you. They were objecting to the billions of dollars that then-President George H.W. Bush was spending on the Gulf War, while HIV care in the U.S. remained dangerously underfunded. And that same week, activists took over Grand Central Station protesting under a banner that said, Money for AIDS, not war. Basically, the activists were saying that they disagreed with the government's decision to keep funding war, while healthcare access and funding in the United States suffered. And so it makes perfect sense that ACT UP would be speaking out against the ongoing war now. While the U.S. government continues to funnel money and arms to Israel, the House of Representatives is proposing a $767 million cut to domestic HIV funding in 2024. And a House committee has also proposed to cut almost $130 million in funding for CDC HIV AIDS programs. In other words, history is repeating itself. Act of New York also pointed out that the war is in itself a health crisis. As of this month, none of the region's hospitals remain fully functional, and Palestinians are facing severe food insecurity. Infectious diseases are thriving, and miscarriages are up by 300%. In their statement, ACT UP New York said that they felt that they could not stay silent in light of these realities and that they hoped other queer and health organizations would take a similar public stand. They wrote in their statement, quote, Just as silence equals death applies to our fight to end AIDS, so too does it apply to the complicity of genocide against Palestinians. 